All right. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Imara Ifawuyi coming to you live with another video today. Um, so we are here in lovely Bahia, Brazil, still living our best lives. Um, I wanted to come to you today and talk uh, to you about um, five different uh, ways that you can move abroad and acclimate to a new country. So becoming an expat, moving abroad, and, and getting used to living in a new environment um, is something that a lot of us have questions about. I basically have a background of travel that's pretty extensive. I haven't been all over the world, but I've definitely made some major, um, you know, cross global moves more than once, more than twice, more than 10 times. So I've lived in different countries around the world. So it's really, um, <clears throat> it's an interesting lifestyle. Um, I've done it with my children mostly. So that's over the last 15 years and was doing some of that kind of movement prior to that. But um, what I wanted to do is just give you five good tips from my own personal experience that will help you to kind of better adjust to a new place. So tip number one, do, 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 listen learn the language learn the language where you're at where you're going right now we're in Bahia Brazil when I first came to Brazil which was 20 something years ago that was my first time here and I remember I was very kind of um, anxious and excited to learn the language because Brazil at that time in particular for me in my early 20s was uh, such a social place that you wanted to be able to communicate with people. I was hungry for that. I had a background speaking Spanish, so I was able to um, come forward with some of the, grammat the grammar that I knew from Spanish and bring that into my uh, Portuguese learning. So it sped it up to a degree because I wasn't studying at any schools or institutions or anything. And so it took me about six months to get a really pretty strong grapple on the Portuguese and I lived here for a year at that time. Uh, so it was really, it was great. And now having come back and returned to live again and bringing my children, it helps me a lot because I can still pull on what I remember from back then. Plus having kept up my studies just kind of casually throughout, you know, the decades really. Um, so yeah, it's really important that you learn the language, whether you go online, find you an online tutor. Um, they have uh, preply.com. You can get online tutoring on there. Um, um, my daughter is having a lot of success with that. Uh, you know, you can um, find a local tutor where you are, which is a lot of times better because it's more, you know, you learn colloquialisms, you learn about the local environment, all while learning the language. So it's like you get a lot out of that. Um, as well, uh, just studying with, you know, Pimslure and some of these online apps that you can pay monthly and study with is really important. So yeah, learn the language because you're going to want that. That is going to improve your quality of life tremendously. It's not cute to always be confused and needing help and needing translations and trying to force people to understand what you're saying in English or whatever language you speak because you don't, you can't, you know, figure out that it's better that you learn the language where you're at, you know? So yeah, that's important. Um, another tip, tip number two. Uh, for adjusting and acclimating in a new environment um, <clears throat> and in a new country is join Facebook groups. One of the ways that I've been able to navigate my time here in Brazil, getting settled, um, being able to, you know, get bank accounts, do this, handle certain business, certain things that I didn't necessarily do when I was here as a young woman, but, you know, getting more settled in and, and learning the ropes with that was made so much easier by being in contact with other expats and people um, through Facebook groups. I can't, I can't tell you, I mean, Facebook groups has been just tremendously helpful for me and my stay. It's helped me with my transition. And it's good to hear from other people who are um, also kind of going through what you are going through or have gone through it, who have a background in trying to transition to that particular country and all of the ins and outs of that because every country is different. Every country has its own flavor, its own thing. Brazil is an amazing country. It's vast, it's diverse, it's fun, it's exciting, but like the bureaucracy here is atrocious. So, you know, that's something you learn and you can really get a better understanding for what it's going to take to do certain things as a foreign person um, just by um, talking to other people who have done it. So, yeah, that's tip two. 
tip number three is, you know, it's um, a good idea to try to learn a bit about the history where you are. So learn about the history where you are, you know, read books, go on tours. I'm in Bahia, Brazil. Bahia, Brazil, super diverse, super amazing, um, super rich with history, of, you know, the colonial history, the history of slavery, sugarcane, all of that. And so um, it's really an amazing um, area to learn about. So it's important that if you can, however you can do it, that you learn as much about the area you're in because it really can be helpful in making you feel more grounded, more connected where you are, um, you know, just assisting in that transition where you don't feel like such an outsider because you have some kind of point of reference. You have some kind of understanding of what that place has passed through, what the background is of it, how it became the city or the town that it is, the area, the region. So yeah, that's an important one. Um, so tip number three, just try your best to just learn a little bit about where you're going, where you're living, where you're staying. Don't be so wrapped up in just trying to find the amenities that you're used to and, and, and having things the way you like it and speaking English and not merging and getting to know um, <clears throat> and getting to know the local environment because it's going to be really hard for you. Um, and then tip number four, and it's going to be a short video because I like to keep it short. Um go somewhere like Brazil is easy because there's so much culture here that I can always be at a samba I could be at a fojo I could be at a different cultural event plus I'm in like the cultural hub of Brazil which is in the northeast so you know it's easy but wherever you go one of the best and easiest ways to feel a part of the community and a part of your surroundings is to go and you know vibe with the locals go experience the things that the locals have been experiencing learn a bit about the history of the dance as they do the songs they sing the background of the place you know like get into it we have to learn as um, and I find that Americans are particularly they struggle with this is is wanting to like take America and bring it where they're at and like everything has to flow the way it did in America everything has to go and if it doesn't we're really up in arms we're pissed off we're aggravated and it's like you won't be able to bring that attitude everywhere you go in the world because Everywhere just doesn't do things the way you do. And the culture is not like yours. And so you need to learn about where you are. So go socialize. Be social. I mean, that's the way you socialize. That's the way you meet people. That's the way you become more like, you know, someone who, who is really merging with the local environment. Hey. And tip number five, and this is coming from someone who is just a crazy musical person. Love music. Music is everything to me. You should learn or you can learn about the place you've moved to by learning about the music they make, you know, listening to the music, getting to know um, the driving force behind them by, you know, looking into the lyrics, understanding what they sing about, what's in their hearts. The music of a place is, is the heartbeat of the place, you know, it tells you who they really are. And then getting to, to, um, know and learn about the music of a location is going to put you more in touch with who these people are where am i you know who are these people i'm with who you know who's around me what is what is what's the driving motivation for them and you'll find that um it you know learning the music finding music genres that you enjoy in that culture and and going deeper and deep diving into that is is a real way for you to feel more comfort more peace and more at home in that new environment so you know and these and right now in these days and times we have to be looking at alternatives we have to be looking at other places where we can go and still feel grounded still feel rooted still feel at home but also um be able to you know kind of uh you know just be comfortable really just be able to be comfortable somewhere else because it's not comfortable particularly if you're in america right now and going through all the weird stuff americans are going through with the empty shelves and the uh, impending wars and all these things or if you're in europe and certain parts of europe certain places are just not comfortable so right now it's good to find somewhere where you can go feel like you can have a good quality of life and that you feel like you could become a part of the society instead of outside of it instead of trying to be an expat that sits on the the outskirts and demands that things are brought to you and that things are done the way you want them to be done so yeah that is um so it's important that is the the gist of the video 
um, if you have any questions you can hit me up down below I'm gonna put um, some links in the um, post too so that you know to click on these links and get more information so yeah guys thanks for coming by our um, global nomad channel link us if you have any questions again peace and love please like and subscribe peace and love